Our investigation into Syrian migrant mayhem at one Canadian school continues. After filing a freedom of information request with Fredericton High School in New Brunswick, 2,700 pages of emails between school staff paints a picture of grown migrant men admitted as high school students, harassing their 14 and 15 year old female peers in a system that doesn't know where to draw the line. But before I wade into more details of what we uncovered, an update. It's now been three days since our story first broke and not a single mainstream news organization has picked it up. And here's the thing, after we filed the FOI, every last document we have access to is now public domain. We've even posted some of the relevant documents within my reports right here on our website. However, editorial boards and individual reporters have decided not to follow up. The way I see it, it's either because they don't believe this is happening in their own backyard or they're too afraid to confirm that in fact something is happening and nothing is being done about it. Which is a travesty considering according to these indisputable documents, there is an importation of Sharia right here in Canadian schools. See, at Fredericton High School, not just anyone can greet Syrian migrants. It has to be someone of the same gender. This female teacher couldn't make it to welcome two Syrian migrant girls, but says she was supposed to because she, quote, has the required gender. So she solicits another female teacher to be present when the girls arrive. What's more, teachers at this Canadian school went out of their way, devising floor plans for a prayer room. They wanted to ensure enough dividers were provided in their inclusive space to make sure people of opposite genders didn't catch a glimpse of each other while praying. In their emails between themselves, teachers admit the Syrian students have, quote, cultural confusion over gender roles. I suppose that's why one teacher emailed another this URL. Now, I plugged this website into my search bar, and this is what I found. A piece titled, Inside the European Classes Teaching Refugees to Respect Women. The subheading? In one part of the class, migrants are shown an image of a woman sitting provocatively in a short skirt and told, it isn't an invitation for sex. Now, perhaps it's just common sense for Canadians like myself to acknowledge a seated woman in a skirt isn't an invitation for sex, but who are we to judge? These adult male migrants have been accepted into this high school, presumably to learn our curriculum and our culture. There's a legitimate argument that it's the school's rule to teach them our Western way of life. But there's only one problem. What if they simply don't want to learn? And when it comes to the male migrants at Fredericton High School, a refusal to Canadianize seems to be an all too common theme there. Even when it comes to something as basic as learning the English language. Scores of emails between teachers indicate an unwillingness of the migrants to even attempt to speak English. Some even going as far as pressuring others to stop speaking English to the teachers when they dared do so. Other migrants still interrupt the teachers overpowering them by speaking to the whole class in Arabic, forcing younger non-Syrian students to leave the classroom so they can learn in peace. I think I speak for a great deal of Canadians when I say I am all for helping out people who are in need, people who have high hopes for a better life. But how are we expected to work with a group of individuals who are intent on working against us? More to come in tomorrow's update, and be sure to tune into my show this Thursday night with a full report right here, The Rebel Dot Media. Like what you just saw? Click here and become a member. Watch full episodes of my show on the hunt at The Rebel Dot Media.